This is the first time they've been back since I graduated, so it's awesome. I love coming back. It's, it's a lot of fun. Uh, I live so close to here, but I, I don't come back a whole lot unless I'm doing a, something for work or a big long event like this, so I'm, I'm really excited. It's fun to see a lot of people I haven't seen in years. I'm not even going to the game. I'm here just for the tailgate because it's not often that you get to see you know, professors that you had and people that you went to school with like this one, and it's really good to come back and to sort of reconnect with people. 94 graduate. And 93 graduate of journalism. Best friends from Rutgers, still best friends. 20, how many? Some odd years. 27 years later, 28 years later. We've got alums here from back in the day. I'm um, in sales for Verizon. I'm a sales manager in Princeton, New Jersey, and I'm switching careers to education I want to teach. I'm actually working in uh, Lehigh Vin uh, Valley, Pennsylvania. I work for AIDSNet. We're a uh, funding organization for uh, HIV and AIDS service providers. And um, I was actually able to use my journalism and political science skills to land that job. It's a lot of um, grant writing and monitoring, a lot of writing of proposals. Uh, so I actually was able to turn what I went to school for into something else. Prior to coming to Rutgers, I was in the military um, for eight years in the Army. Before that, I went to culinary school and got a degree in baking and pastry. Now, how has your journalism degree helped you with your new business? Um, well, it taught me a lot more about social media other than using it as a personal factor. Um, and Professor First PR class taught me about writing press releases and getting you know, information about my company out there and all the avenues to do so. And then the journalism skills help with your writing blogs and things like that. I can do a lot more of my own work. I work as a librarian, an academic librarian at Berkeley College in the Woodbridge campus. After Rutgers, I went on and got my law degree and I actually had a short stint at Court TV, which is now True TV. And then I went on and I was a contracts and licensing attorney before I switched careers. Right now I work for Who Wants to Be a Millionaire in New York and I also uh, write for this new NPR game show called Ask Me Another. Ever since I was a little kid I was obsessed with game shows. I used to pretend to be uh, Bob Barker with a little microphone when I was about three years old. I saw a sign that said do you want to travel the world for free? I said of course, who doesn't? So I went, this time was coming to this meeting and it was a meeting for um, WRSU, the radio station, and I got involved with that. And through that, I got involved with the journalism program. I came to Rutgers thinking I wanted to do computers. Totally changed what I wanted to do once I did radio, got into journalism. A lot of the knowledge I had now was from the fantastic professors I had throughout college. Obviously, Steve Miller has been fantastic both in and out of school, but also Professor Bruce Reynolds. Professor Elizabeth Goff Gordon, any other teachers that I had, Ron Miskoff also. Marsha was at my advisor when I came on board. Roger Cohn was the head of the department at the time. And Steve, or Grover, as he's affectionately known. Steve Miller again, he was definitely a, a huge influence for me. I had Professor Reed, Professor Miller, prof Professor Cohen, um, Professor Solomon, I, I had the whole gang. <laughs> Classes I go Professor First and Miskoff when I took the 9-11 uh, project with them a couple years ago, three or four, 2011 I took that, and that was one of the most practical classes I ever took, and it's the reason that I'm able to take on some challenges today. So what you really do learn in the program here really helps you when you end up getting hired eventually. I took a class with Dr. Roger Cohen that uh, allows to develop hey. programming and uh, that really got me into it. And it was really, a really great class. I'm really glad I took it. It probably changed, you know, my, my life and career because of that. Ever since I graduated, Steve has always been a point of contact for me. He's been references. He's helped me out with my cover letters and resume. And even when, you know, it took me a year and a half to finally get a full-time job. And when the times were tough, he was always saying, keep working at it, you'll get to it someday. And he was right, I was able to. And I thank him for all his help and patience with me, honestly. Intern. Patience. Don't limit your options. Any first job is important. It's not your last job, it's your first job. And persevere through whatever it is. Get your name out there. Internships, internships, internships. Go out there, get experience. You cannot get hired in this job market without experience. Even 20 years ago, it was the same thing. Do an internship. I mean, I can't tell you how many people have either gotten the job directly or they met people or they met people who knew people and they got a gig. 
I mean, I just ran into a number of graduates here who I had in classes three, four, six years before you, and they're all working in journalism. Get involved as much as you can. Do as many activities as you can. Uh, journalism, I think, just from my little experience I've had, it's something that you can't really learn in a textbook. You have to just get out there and do it. So I would just tell all the undergrads to get out there and get involved as much as you can. There are so many things you can do. Uh, uh, YouTube, there are so many blogging sites that you can you know, work with to just kind of create your own content and put yourself out there. So I think uh, putting in work, I guess I would say when nobody is looking and you know, uh, kind of taking initiative to get your stuff out there uh, would be really, really beneficial. Uh, stay positive, the economy's getting better, and uh, contact me if, you, if you're looking for something. I, I'll try to help out everybody I can. You know, we have a great alumni group on Facebook that Steve Miller runs, and it's, I've gotten actually a couple of people hired uh, through the group, so not promising anything, but if you're looking for work, you know, please reach out. You know, I do the best I can to help everybody. Continue growing. Just there's never an end. You can always find something new. Um, make the most of your years at Rutgers because they really can be great years. And if anybody has a problem with anything, if they're not sure of something, there's always people around to help at the university. Enjoy your life, enjoy your time. Take the most out of everything that you can. Good luck and uh, go are you. Go are you! Woo! Go are you! Yeah. <laughs>today and I see so many amazing people I want to welcome all of you many of you came across rivers and county lines and state lines and uh, I want to especially welcome our alums here today uh, you're coming here to you're gonna come to, you know enjoy some food share some stories cheer our team and come home all right this is what homecoming is about and we know that home is not just a physical space, but a space of relationships. And this is what we want to celebrate today, are the relationships that we've had over time. You know, with someone who's given so much to the department over decades, uh, retires, and we want to show her that she's still part of the family, and we want her to always be part of the family, that's coming home too. So I want to thank Marsha, to Marsha. For some of you, there are only two words that say JMS. Marsha Bergman. She's the one who ushered you through all the hard times, all the good times, and helped you graduate. But while she was there, she was a kind heart, a kind soul, and the person you knew you could turn to when the chips were down. We are all better people because of our honoree, the second annual winner of the Journal Lifetime Achievement Award, Marsha Bergman.
Marsha, there was no way in the world I was going to miss today. Um, I always say hands down, she was the one who held the department together. She was your go-to person, anything you needed, whether it was classes, trying to get back on track with things, she was always the person that you could go to. Marsha was and is the heart and soul and brains of journalism and media studies. She, she has an institutional memory of the place that no one else has. Marsha Bergman was the key to my success when she was the secretary. She Anything you needed, she was the person to know, and she made any problems disappear. Marsha, thank you so much for everything you've done. I know you've been kind of the stalwart of this department for so many years, and congratulations and enjoy your retirement. Thank you so much for all of your help. You made coming into the journalism department so easy and so pleasurable, and thank you, and I wish you well in your retirement. Thank you so much for everything you've done, Marsha. Uh, the department, people who have graduated a long time ago, people uh, or more recent grads will be eternally grateful. Uh, we hope to have more people like you come through the department and we wish you all the best in your retirement. Marsha, I am so glad that they honored you this year. You are amazing and you made my time here at Rutgers and then JMS amazing. So thank you for all you've done. Go Marsha. <laughs>